Hello, this video is all about this monument olive removing tool. Now this tool removes 15 mil and 22 mil olives. Now whether you're a gas engineer, plumber or DIYer, then this may be the tool for you if you want to remove some olives. You may also want to think about getting this tool here. This is the monument olive cutting tool and it just gets into more places than this one here will. But if you're looking to just change a whole load of radiator valves, then I think this one is ideal for doing that. If you want to know more about this 15 mil olive cutting tool and why I'll choose this one over this one, then of course I've made a video all about that and you can find that in the links above now or down in the description. Stick around to the end of the video and give you the good points and the bad points of this tool. Now, if you do want to get yourself either one of these tools, then of course I've left links down in the description, which will take you straight to Amazon where you can get one of these tools. Now this one here, this retails for around about 27 pounds. So it's not cheap and it does only cut off 15 mil olives. Whereas this one here is only about 24 pounds and this takes off to 15 mil and 22 mil olives. Right, before I jump on a workbench, let's just quickly whiz through my intro and then again, I will show you how this tool works. My name is Mark Ballard and I've been a gas registered engineer for over 20 years. The aim of my channel is to help you with your central heating and your plumbing. If you find this video useful at all, then please give me a little bit of feedback by clicking on the thumbs up and that will also help others to find the video. You can click on subscribe if you think the video is useful and click on the bell if you want to receive a notification the next time I upload a help video. And of course, share the video with your friends. I'd like to say a really big thank you to everybody who buys me a cup of coffee and leaves a small donation in my toolbox fund. It is really appreciated and it does really help me to make more videos which will hopefully help you. And don't forget to visit my website where I've categorized all my videos and left links to all the products and parts that I recommend. Right now let's get on with this video. Here's our brand new monument olive removing tool and here you see there's a Tommy bar to turn it then you've got these two pieces here. Now this part is for removing 22 mil olives and when you're not taking off 22 mil olives you can just remove it and this part is for removing 15 mil olives. You can easily take the Tommy bar off if you need to get into a smaller place by just taking off the rubber caps but don't lose that Tommy bar or the caps. Now what this monument tool has which other brands don't is this hardened steel drive point on the top here and this allows you to use other tools to easily and speedily remove these olives. You can then use a flat ratchet like this and you can put that on there and then that will then allow you to turn like that or you could use your screwdriver because it's standard screwdriver size. You can put that onto there and then use a screwdriver and turn it that way. Or you could use your electric drill and that really whizzes them off. And I'll show you how that works in just a sec. Now this part here on the top, this is for when you want to remove a 22 mil olive. Again, I'll show you how that works in just a sec. So don't lose it. So now I'm just going to take this 15 mil compression coupling and I'm going to just going to do it up on this pipe and do it up reasonably tight and then I'll use the olive puller to remove it. Now one thing to note about this olive puller is you must have the same thread on the nut as is on the olive puller otherwise you can't use the tool. And some older plumber fittings and radiator valves have a much finer thread so you wouldn't be able to use the tool with those. Now I'm going to remove a 15 mil olive so I don't need this part so I'm going to put that to one side. Now what we do is we put the end of the tool into the pipe and you might want to put a little bit of silicon grease on there to help it turn because this piece will be turning on the pipe. Now we just want to spin this piece all the way down the bottom so it stops which is just there like that and then we just pop it on top of the olive like that and then we bring the nut up onto the tool like that and just do it up finger tight. Now, if you want, you can use a pair of adjustable spanners and just tighten that up really tight if you want to, but I've never found a need to do that, but uh, the option is there to do that. Or maybe you might need to use them just to take it apart afterwards. Now we just put the Tommy bar back in its hole and put the rubber cap on the end. And then all we do is just rotate it. And as we rotate it, the screw does up and it pulls the nut up, pulling the olive off the pipe. So as I'm turning the Tommy bar, you can see the nut going up the pipe there. See, as I'm turning it, it's pulling it up. I just keep on going. And this copper olive is just pulling off really easily because copper olives are really soft and it doesn't take much for them to pull off the pipe. And there we are, that's that done. Now we can just remove the old olive from the tool. And there we go, job done. 
Now let's just cut the top of this bit of pipe off that's already crushed. Oh, and if you want to know a little bit more about these NURAD cutters, then I made a separate video all about those. So let's just do another 15 mil olive and I'll show you how we can use different tools like a adjustable spanner, flat ratchet, and an electric drill to remove the olive. So here's an old radiator valve. Uh, I took that out of a property. I've never taken this joint apart. So let's see what's inside here. And you can see there's a whole lot of silicon sealant which has been used to seal this joint. That's something you may find when you come to take your radiator valves apart, but we're not too worried about that. So we're gonna do exactly the same as before. We're gonna get our olive tool, push it down inside the pipe like that, spin the puller down, and then just wind the nut up onto the puller like that. Now we're ready to pull off the olive. Now a quarter inch flat ratchet spanner can be really useful for pulling off your olive because you can just put it on top and you can get into really small places with it and just rotate the ratchet backwards and forwards. Obviously we don't need a Tommy bar so we can take that off. And again, that gives us more access so we can get it into a small position. And you can see how easy that's making the job if you're in a bit of a confined space. Now we can also use our electric drill and just pop that on our top and do it my chuck like that. And that's gripping the tool. And then I just press the button and off it comes. And look how easy that was. It just comes off in seconds. But obviously you do need a bit of room to use your electric drill to pull off the olives. Using the drill method comes in really handy when you're changing a whole load of radiator valves. And then you can just go around the entire system pulling all the nuts and the olives off in one go. It makes really short work of taking off these two olives so I can then fit a smart thermostatic radiator valve. And if you want to know more about this Drayton Wiser Smart Thermostatic Radiator Valve, then you know where to look. So let's just try using this olive puller on this 22 mil olive. Now you can see the olive is quite close to that fitting and I can't push the nut down so I may not be able to use my olive splitting tool or olive cutting tool. But the olive puller will handle it with no trouble at all. Now that's where this part of the tool comes in. So we unscrew it off the top of the tool and we just place it in the pipe like that. Then we take this part of the tool and make sure that it's screwed right up to the top. And then we screw the whole lot right the way down to the bottom. Then we just place the whole lot onto the pipe and then do the nut up onto the tool. Then we screw the top bit down until it stops. We can now use the Tommy bar, a screwdriver, adjustable spanner, or even the drill to pull the olive off. So I could use my screwdriver like this and just place it on top of the tool and just use my screwdriver. And you can see as I'm turning my screwdriver, again, you can see it's pulling the olive off the pipe. And there we go, using the screwdriver has pulled it off no trouble at all. Don't forget to take the 22 millimeter bit out of the pipe because you don't want to find out when you finish the job, you're missing that part and you've left it in the pipe. And there's our old olive and nut. And now we've got a nice clean pipe so we can put our nice clean fitting straight onto that bit of pipe. I just want to show you this little clip when I was removing a 15 mil olive and I'm using an adjustable spanner and you can see that it is really, really tight. And the reason for this, why it doesn't want to come off so easily is because this is a brass olive and brass olives are way stronger and they don't like being pulled off pipes. And there it is. You can see it's brass because it's gold in color and not copper in color. Now I thought I'd just mention if you've got these valves here where you've got this kind of back to front thread where the thread is, is on the kind of nut. It's like the opposite way to a radiator valve. You could still use the tool to pull these off, but you need to get yourself something like a half inch steel coupling and you could just screw the two bits together and that would allow you to use the tool to get these olives off. So just to sum up then, this is a great little tool. I recommend DIYers or professionals to have one of these in their toolbox. It takes off your 22 mil olives, takes off your 15 mil olives, and of course you've got the adapter on top so you can use your tools to remove those olives nice and speedily. Now the only downside I see is in some circumstances, this tool is a little bit big and it doesn't fit into the places you might want it to. Say taking out a 22 or a 50 mil gate valve, it's just a little bit long. If those pipes are fixed in position, you're not gonna get the tool in there. Whereas my 15 mil olive cutting tools, they just go in there, snip, snip, and the job is done. Whereas these take just a little bit more work to get the olive off. Let me know in the comments if you've got any better ways of getting these old olives off. So that's about it then. So if you want to know about this olive cutting tool, then you can click on the video just here. If you want to know about the Drayton Wiser controls, click on that video. You can click on subscribe, click on the bell, click on the like. There's always my toolbox fund. Bye for now and I'll see you next time.